Uh, hi, everyone. I haven't made one of these for a while, so I apologize if it's a little disjointed. Uh, sorry, I can't be there with you guys today, but I wanted to introduce you to the topic of graphing exponential functions. Hopefully, you've all picked up an assignment. If you haven't picked up the assignment, now would be a good time to stop the video and go pick one up. All right, I'm going to bring the assignment up on the screen here. Like I said, I've done one of these for a while. So uh, this is it. Yes, there we go. All right, so you should be looking at this. Uh, you should be looking at this assignment. And uh, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill out this section right here, the graphing section. And then we're going to go do some notes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to fill out uh, these little boxes here at the bottom. All right. All right. All right. So we're going to, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. See, I told you I was rusty at this. All right. All right. So we're going to graph this function. Um, I also point out that uh, right here, if you would rather hear Sal Khan describe how to do this, you can go use that QR code and go to Khan Academy. All right, he has a lot more practice doing this than I do. All right, so um, let's grab some points here. All right, here's our function, pretty simple, five to the X. All right, and so our uh, first point right here is negative two. So, so it's just five to the negative two. All right, five to the negative two. And uh, so this is negative means this is an inverse. You can put this in your calculator. All right. Uh, but this is basically uh, five squared is 25. And then the inverse of that is 1 25th. All right, so our answer right here is 1 25th, a really tiny number. All right, and here we're going to have 5 to the negative 1. Okay, so that's 5 to the 1, which is 5. And then it's going to be the inverse of that, so it's 1 5th. Still a pretty small number. All right, uh, 5 to the 0, everything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that's a 1. Uh, 5 to the first power is equal to 5. That's pretty easy. And 5 to the second power, 5 squared, is 25. So there we are. Uh, 1 25th, 1 5th, 1, 5, and 25. All right, I'm going to erase all of this stuff because I wrote it right on top of the graph the coordinate plane, I should say. Uh, and so now we want to plot these points, all right? And so um, our first point is, our first point, so this is our X and, this is our X and our Y, our X and our Y. So our first point is going to be negative two, uh, 1 25th. All right, so that's a lot less than one. Well, here's negative two. And so that's going to be, let me make this a, a little bit bigger. All right, so that's going to be almost right on top of the zero, but not quite on top of zero. All right, and then uh, one, two. All right, so then, then this is negative one, one fifth. All right, and so we're going to put that right here, just barely above. And finally, we get to zero, 01. So zero, 01 is going to be about right there. Not exactly, maybe. And then we get to 15. All right. So here's 15 is right there. And then we get to 225. So look at it, it just goes up like crazy. Uh, and now we're, we're not going to drive, graph three because uh, three is really big. Three is 125. All right. So you can see how this graph. Uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to erase these things. All right, and I'm going to try and sketch this. I'm kind of out of practice, so we'll see how I do. So it kind of goes along next to the x-axis. 
without touching it. All right, and then it starts taking off like crazy. All right. All right, and so there, there's our graph. All right, so no, it doesn't, doesn't, never touches zero here. It gets really, really small. Uh, if you have more and more negative numbers, so if we have a, a negative five or a negative six, we can see that the, the fraction is going to get really, really small, uh, but it never is going to touch zero. That point is important for the next thing we're going to talk about, uh, which is this information over here. All right, which is four things that we want to identify about this graph. We want to identify whether it's growth or decay. We want to identify something called an asymptote, such a great math word, asymptote, and then range and then y-intercept. Okay, these are things we've all talked about in the warm-up for the unit. So uh, let's go and talk about them over here. All right, now I sketched the same graph, all right? So this is the graph of, this is the graph of uh, f of x, this, all right, is f of x is five to the x power, all right? And now we're gonna identify a few things here. First is, is this growth or decay? All right, so growth, or decay, right? Well, I notice, uh, and I think you probably do too, uh, that this uh, function is growing, all right? As x, as we go negative one, negative two, negative zero, one, two, three, the graph is getting higher and higher. So the y value, the y value is increasing. And so that's going to be, if I can get some green color here. All right, that's going to be growth, right? Because it's going this way. All right, so this is a growth function. All right, one other way to know this is a growth function is uh, we this is this is five to the x power, all right. If this number, if this number is greater than one, is greater than one, then it's a growth function. And I think you can see that because you're you're multiplying by that number. So if it's greater than one, it's going to get larger and larger. If that number is less than one, if it's a fraction right, and let's say it was 0 0.2 to the x, all right, uh, this is a, called a decay function, all right, and decay functions are when this is less than 1. Decay is for rate less than 1, all right, and 0.2 is less than 1, all right, so we've identified that this is growth a growth function, all right? And uh, you can pause the video and write that stuff down. I'm going to erase it so I have some room here, all right? All right, so the next thing we wanted to talk about was that great word, asymptote. All right, so... Uh, the asymptote is going to be an as, another way to think about the asymptote is it's a limit. An asymptote is like an invisible line that the graph cannot cross. All right, and so let's make that in purple, whatever color this is. All right, and notice that uh, the graph will not cross. But in this case, the graph won't cross the y-axis or the x-axis, sorry. All right, and so there's a there's a line here, which is the y-axis, and this won't cross. So, so this is our asymptote right here. 
for S simp. I told you I had, was out of practice on this. Our asymptote. All right, in in we notice this is our asymptote where where y equals zero. All right, and so this is our asymptote. And so um, in our function up here, there's like an invisible zero also. Right here, this is five x plus zero. Well, so this is the what the asymptote is. All right, and. Uh, we're going to see that in another function. So, for instance, if uh, if our function was if our function is f of x equals two to the x plus two. All right, then this is our asymptote right there. That's our asymptote. Asymptote is going to be y equals two. All right. And if we looked at what that graph looks like, maybe we can think about that. All right. Is it's not going to go we'll call this two. And there's an invisible line here that the graph cannot cross. And so this graph would look like this but it would never go below two, all right? So give me a chance to write that down. I'm going to erase it again. You can always pause the video and write that stuff down. All right, so here's our asymptote is y equals zero. All right, so um, I'm actually gonna move that over here because I'm going to want to use it. There's our asymptote is y equals zero. All right. So the next thing we want to talk about, so we so we talked growth or decay, we talked asymptote. Next thing we want to talk about is range. All right. So if you remember what range is, uh, range is the possible the possible y values. And for exponential functions, that's very easy to see because it's all the values that are above the asymptote. All right. So here's all the possible y values are above the asymptote. All right, so above the asymptote. All right, so that means the range is going to be whatever the asymptote is. So the range is going to be uh, starting at zero and going to, where's this going? This is going to infinity, all right? So there's our range is going to infinity. So we're going to see that this number is going to be the asymptote, and this number is always, for the functions that we're going to study, always infinity. All right. I think we have that. All right. So that's two of our three, three of our four things. Our fourth thing, I'm going to write it over here, is our y intercept. Our y intercept. Now, when we, uh, our y intercept is right here. All right. And uh, if you, it's where x equals zero. And if you go back to our, there's our y intercept right there. That's our y intercept. And it's where, where x is equal to zero. All right. Right here, x equals zero. All right. So, we already have, because we already graphed, we already have our y-intercept, and it's where x is 0 and y is 1. All right? So that's our that's our four things that we need to have, uh, growth or decay, asymptote, and range, range and y-intercept. All right? So let's go back here to our 
And all of the, the definitions I just gave you are all right here for reference, okay? All right, and we said this was growth or decay. Well, it's, it's growing, right? It's growing as it goes from left to right. So it's a growth function. Our asymptote, uh, which I think I did in purple, our asymptote is right here. It's the y-axis, right? And that's where that's where y equals zero. And so that's our asymptote, a horizontal line. All right. And then we said our range started at zero and went to infinity. So that's zero and infinity. All right. And then finally, our y-intercept is this value right here where x equals zero. All right. And so our y-intercept is going to be when x is zero in this function, y is one. All right. Okay. Um, so there's some notes about how to do this assignment. Uh, there are four more problems on the back and uh, give those a shot and uh, good luck with that. Thanks. All right, stop sharing. So uh, I will talk to you guys on Tuesday, hopefully. All right, see you later. All right, now I have to figure out how to turn this off. Uh, I told you I was rusty at this. Someplace. Stop recording. Okay. Stop recording. We'll see you.